we can begin. Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our lovely little adventures here in the world of Tunic. I, for I forgot that we got... Dip I don't think I actually looked at this. It has the names Fairies, Rudling, Ghost of a Soldier Who Has Forgotten Why They Fight, Follows Orders But Has No Soul. I think this this page has more dialogue than anything. Tromp and Trompgnom, always hungry. It runs fast but can't turn very quickly. Dangerous as family, as a family. That seems like a weird thing to say. Fairies, curious pieces of wall that have come to life. They seem intent on stopping you. Well, hey, listen, fairies, I don't listen to you. And boss, question mark, question mark, question mark, blocks the way to the bell tower. We'll kill you. It literally didn't. <laughs> That's the hilarious thing. And I do not think that I have much, but did we? Yes, we had to have come from there. Where that like golden pedestal thing is. Was there a thing at the golden pedestal? Brain cannot recall. And we already found the magic dagger. I would not have noticed the arrow pointing to the cave, I don't think. But apparently there's a way to the left? Either that or it's just... I don't know. We'll have to check that out, I suppose. Well, let's see. Where do we go from here? I guess we just have to go back this way. Try to survive. Remember how things control. Remember me. I can block. But so can they. So I must kill them. I must steal their souls. Aggravating. A chest? How did I miss a chest? How is there to get down there? Too bad for you. Oh, crap. Oh. How dare you dodge? That's my job. I shall dodge here. I shall hide. Come fight me. Fool. Fool. Was playing around with expressions that I decided to create. Because, you know, that's what a sane person does. Why do they have so much health? It's very rude. They should not have so much health. I should have all the health. I'm the protagonist. I deserve all the health in the world. This is the one downside, because I don't think the game really expects you to go back this much. Wrong button, game. But it does mean that I'm able to get some magic back. Let's see. Yeah, it says that there's a way this way. Or maybe it's just, oh, the magical runes that you can't speak and spell. Or maybe I'll be able to walk on water in the future. By the way, I want to see if I can get to that one chest. Damn your defense. Get stunned, chompy gnom. Die. Yeah, it's just there's just so many sacrets. So many secrets. Like, there has to be a way. There's a chest there. 
How dare they put a chest that I can't get to? They'll fiddly fine. We'll, well, because at the same... Did we go into that cave? Did we go into that cave? I don't know. It's only been like two days since we were here. And already I've forgotten everything. Brain is not good at retaining small details. And we're going to take this opportunity to look and see. We have nothing to buy from you. Still thrown off that I can't just press B and be like, I am free of thee. That does not exist in this world. Oh, so that was the cave. How dare you put a hole in a wall and just like, see, it's a cave. And when it's just such a piddly nothing cave. Well, maybe. Let's see. Maybe it leads to something or other. Probably not. No, I think we've done this. We've done this before. Oh, yeah, and this is the hero's grave. Yeah, there was a chest here. And the gold diddly da is the hero's grave that either is just here for flavor and cannot be opened, or we just lack the ability to open right now. I know last time that we rang both the bells. Yeah, and we hit the bell tower. I'm going to see if I can quickly head all the way to the bell tower place again. Because I want to see. Nope, we already went this way as well. That's the problem with games with secrets. My brain immediately... Well, that's not fair. That wasn't fair at all. My anger is complete and total. Seriously, uh, what? Oh, ladder? Oh yeah, shortcut, me dumb. But yeah, uh, that was weird game. Did I find a glitch? Just fall off into oblivion? I do not know. My second death of the game. And I didn't even see what happened. I fell through the world. You know, a good game would just teleport you back to a safe place. This is partly another reason why we came this way. We got a berry. Oh, hey, another shortcut. Yay. Another good reason why we came this way. This way is apparently very important. I don't... I guess this is just kind of a quick road to the West Gardens more than anything, because there doesn't seem to be anything there there. How much money do we have? 390. I wonder how much we lost to falling through the world. I don't think I heard anything. So maybe we didn't lose anything. Yo, Skelly Man. I hope I never have to fight you. Oh dear lord, you have increased your stock. What is this? Sure. Oh, 1,000. I don't have that. Let's see. I don't know what that is. I just bought it. Let's see. That's another usable. Then I guess I will just buy more bombs. Thank you, Skelly Man. 
for not scaring me, even though your very presence causes my controller to rumble, which is disconcerting. Ever so terrifying, you could say. Let's see. If we could find a way to, like, traverse fallen lands, like the the watery hells and go island to island. We could get, like, to the beach. Hmm. Do we have anything on the east forest? Does not look like. But there is still the eastern vault, so we'll first probably head up to the Forbidden Pass, because like, I, I completely forget what happened after we hit the second bell. Maybe the Seal Temple is opened? I just realized there's a creepy sculpture. Like, there's just so many little details that you can try to absorb and look at. Alright, first things first, let's take a look this way. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's also another shortcut. My brain... <laughs> That's the one downside to this game being kind of simple. It's just like there's five billion everythings. In way at your mind. And everything is just like such a state of, oh, okay, all right, that you don't really pay too much attention to anything because it all happens so fast. Hmm. Be gone, Satan. Yeah, the creepy mouth. So, I'll have to find a way to do things. We could, like, quickly take a look at the... Temple doors to see if anything's changed. Well, both the statues are now lighting up. So let's press the button, I guess. It shoved me. What a jerk. So we can actually enter. Alright then. Forward unto hell. First things first. There was another map area that we found. Somewhere. Probably not this far back, but... I know we found another map piece. This map piece. No, this is the down below way. All right. So not relevant. Is this our temple of time? Considering the trifecta thingy. Kind of annoyed that my lantern isn't providing much light. Hello, ancient technology of hell. Like I said, this is probably the heart of Etheria that's going to eat everything. Love the little plinky plunky music that's playing. Ah, another manual piece. Great, it's half. Hold A for five seconds in front of monoliths. All right. Oh, hey, what? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's the other half, me dumb. The other side. So if we come upon monoliths... Like, down there. And I think there was also one 
monolith kind of thing, maybe in the dark, at the end of the dark tomb? Like where we found our lantern, I think? Also, I just realized the uh, merchant's glowing eyes can be seen in the, the diddly dee. Very interesting, but... All right, new goal. We're going to... I just realized there's a... When it comes to the old house, there is a music note written with an arrow pointing to the window. All right, we'll take note of that. All right, uh, don't know why there would be a shortcut over to this side. Oh, it's because we're still up here. I'm dumb. I just saw the statues. I'm just like, oh, we're already back here. Because, you know, elevation doesn't exist. Not in my mind. Hello, glowy eye statue. Oh, give, give. Oh, it's a ladder. And yes, we've all seen that before. The well of horrors, we've all seen it. Go and smack me with your tongues. Weirdo skull monsters, and I never ever actually break your skulls because I'm apparently a good person. I know the dead are trying to kill me, but I still have to respect the dead. That is a very important part of life. Apparently. I'll take that. Fire wand? Wrong button. Maybe if I do this in front of tuning forks? No, maybe if I, I can hit myself with it. All right, so it is magic. So this is a thing. Still don't know about the tuning forks of doom. The tuning forks of doom just seem to exist in weird places. Alright. Kind of wish that we could teleport to any of the bow down statues that we've seen and been to. To kind of just cut down on things. I can kind of understand why they wouldn't want to, because maybe that would make the game feel very small, but. Damn you. I have forgotten your feelings. How come your dead body friend dare get in my way? Hey, <laughs> I can snipe you. Be gone, Satan. This is my treasure chest. More berries. What even are the berries? We have tons of them. Being, uh, raises your... Okay. Understandable, then. They are blue. Don't question it. Also kind of like that... Still don't know what you... Why do you exist? What do you do? What is your purpose? What is your porpoise? Didn't expect that, but okay. And since there's nothing really stopping me, go ahead and restock on everything. Alright. So 
So that leads to a new area-ish. I'm gonna head to the old house. Maybe we need a musical instrument. Where's my ocarina? Maybe it's talking about the chimes? Because... Yeah. Maybe this. We just learned about this. I don't know what it is. It's just you hold the A button. And things happen. Oh, hey, another well. I have no purpose for my coins. You can have them, I guess. Then again, I think... I don't know. Maybe the achievement is just, oh, nothing happened because it was the first time you throw it in. I'm going to assume that if you maybe put, like, a bunch of coins into the various wells, something will happen. Okie dokie. We are going to now head down uh, to that obelisk to the far down right if we can. And while we're on the way, we can also take a look at that uh, through thingy down there. I wish there was a zoom function. I wish there was a zoom function. Oh, there is a zoom function. This. We're going to check that out. Because that seems like it's a thing. But first, let's see. We are here, so we just need to get my bearings. As my soul just slowly crumbles in the I don't know what's going on. Die. Die. Let's see. Oh no, we've already been through there. Wait. And then we're coming down the wrong way ish. But we can go this way because we have sword. Oh, and we can't. It's kind of cheaty that it doesn't note that on the map. I want to sing to you, obelisk. Kind of rude. Game's like, hey, you can do this thing now. And I'm just going to do it at everything. And we didn't go up to the mountain door. So I guess that's the next thing. Or did we? I don't know. My brain is fried. There's five billion things. Who even gets mail in this world? Mail does not exist. Mail people don't exist. You think the postman is going to come to Doomsday Land? Say hello? Odd, but sure. How dare you put a flower there? Forest Fortress. Something has to be up with the tuning forks. How do I get them to function? It's just like everything. I want everything. Oh, maybe grapple hook. Maybe there's a grapple hook in the game that we can later use. How dare you shoot at me and fail. Also, how dare you camp the stairs. I held my shield out, jerk. How dare you have a backswing. Backswing is the worst swing. Pay no attention to me using a backswing. Be gone. They don't even get me money. 
profound sadness. The lazy bums. They're going to come attack me. Not give me anything. Oh boy. Is this like Gerudo Desert? Follow the diddly dees or else you get lost and doomed and damned. Go up the stairs. It's very simple. Stairs go up. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. So there's something about the golden coins and the wells, but I don't understand it. Apparently, the diddly dees are things that are corresponded to on page 51. Temple three keys, diddly dee, go to page 24. The ruined atoll, green spark, well, green sparkly, golden sparkly. Checkpoint dead, old burying ground. Muffling bell, lucky cup, inverted ash. Cyan Pearl Ring. I know that I got the Cyan Pearl Ring. Well, that explains that. Wrong button, but I'll hold on to it. Okie doke. So yeah, this is definitely an interesting game where... <laughs> Most of the functions you can just kind of discover. Like, that's kind of interesting. A little wonky, but not in an overly bad way, I suppose. It's kind of interesting that there's, like, all these things that you can do right at the start, but you might not know to do them if you don't, like, if you haven't, if you don't know. I am the most eloquent speaker. Mwahaha ha 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 ha. But hey, now I guess I do more damage. Yay. And the skulls are gone. I guess because I killed them. Good. I murder. Then I guess up next is to go to the forest fortress. I suppose. Alrighty then. Onwards to Majesty, I suppose. But first, I'm going to check behind this waterfall. Because there's always treasure behind waterfalls. And by that, I mean just a few dollary doos. And once again, I lament my diddly d damn thing isn't working. My lantern. Uh... I am very confused. I do see like a thing up there. Maybe if I turn and but yes, developers, when you give the player a lantern, it is kind of a rude thing to be like, oh yeah, and by the way, the lantern's not gonna work outside the designated lantern zones. It is a very frustrating thing to put into your game. All right. I don't know what that's about. Just a dude walking randomly on a checker pattern. We 
we're probably gonna enter the realm of the spider kings. Oh, hey, it's an effigy. Wrong button. I still don't know what it does. Oh. Dead. But I can fire. I have fire. Maybe this will lead me to getting the ability to light things on fire. Darn you, you have a wall. Don't you just hate it when dudes have walls? Bastards. Also, it feels like it gave me, like, the telescope view when I wasn't at the telescope. Let's see. Not entirely. So these guys are the fire hoarders. So I think my assumption of being able to light things on fire... <gasps> I, can, I can pray to you. I have the pray ability. I pray to you. You hear a strange hum. Oh, so that's how I light things on fire. Neat. But okie doke, it was just kind of nice that I had the ability to actually do a thing, though. But as I wander through this field of devoured dreams... I've been trying to draw more. Next on the docket is I'm going to try and draw Gottomom. <laughs> this would be hilarious. If you came here at some point without getting the manual, you'd be like, how do I cross this? Hold A, five head. Just a very amusing thing to me. It's wonky that the game does that, where it's like, aha, to learn the game, you must seek the truths that can only come by reading the manual. That's kind of hilarious. Coveted in the forest temple. I'm already there. Stolen to the top of the sky. I think that's up the mountain, sealed at the root of the world. Again, the same battle, fought uncountable times. So this is Dark Souls. Shop time? One, one time you're going to be a boss. 999. I don't get, I don't get, the, I don't get the dollars for that. Goodbye, my dude. Vandalize their fire. Punish their hubris. I don't know why my brain went heedily ha ha ha. Hubris. Shift things around. That could be huge penis. Why brain? And candelabras everywhere. Water. Oh boy. Hey guys, my magical lantern is decide that has a mind of its own has decided to start working again. There, that's a rope up there. A bucket. Dear God, there's more. No! Hmm. I wanted to light the candelabras on fire. At least I can block against the spiders now. At least that's a thing that I can do. Still ever so slightly annoyed that the game just picks and chooses. Yeah. Your hubris has been punished. Spider is coward. Come fight me. Ah, 
Ah, just waiting for it to come fight me. And the spider's like, no. No, I don't want to fight you. Well, uh, too bad. I want to fight you. I'm invading your home. How do you feel about that? I don't think I have a map of this place. You have a blue. Are you a projectile? Oh, that ain't good. Grenade! Oh, physics! How dare. Oh, no, you're just a... You're a bastard is what you are. But of course, the game is like, well, yeah, we know that you're a small fox boy. But we're gonna have fuses go out when they... I don't know what the quiet bell does. You, you see, stuff like that makes me want to look it up. Like, what the hell is this thing that I have no plausibility of figuring out what it is on my own? Like, I get it. That's your aesthetic. I kind of hate it, even if I understand it. So that's how that functions. Mushrooms! Where do you stand in the world? It's a thing I can sell to the statue of gods. <sighs> Magical. Go away. Why are you a coward? Why are you a coward? Fight me. Fight me, little man. I hate your timing. Your timing is evil and I hate you, blue spider boy. What? Oh. We're in a prison. Why are we in a prison? Oh, hey! Shortcut! Animation is a little wonky on the shortcut, but hey! What you gonna do? More buckets, dear God. I might, I might be a murderer, but I, I am a, I'm a person that understands what I'm murdering is evil. So that makes me good. More flowers. Okay, you were, <laughs> the distance rendering of walls and stuff did not work there. Oh, they have flame swords. Ow. Oh, I'm super on fire. You literally have to. <laughs> you can just shoot them. I love it. And now I will pray to your god for you. Oh, magic iPhone tower. heated me when it didn't heat them because I was the true iPhone buyer. Ooh, a golden coin. Maybe I'll throw it into, like, I don't know, the, the secret thingy that's just like, where is it? Somewhere here. Not here. I don't understand that. Like... And apparently there are different kinds of coins. I wish that I could read these runes! 
Like, there has to be a way to unlock the English version of the runes. There has to be. Oh no. Music change. Fear. The Eastern Vault. And then I left. Because I didn't realize... Because I thought it was just dark. Because, you know, my lantern doesn't get to work all the time. So when I see just my silhouette, it's like, oh, I'll go this way. Like a fool. It's almost like you should let lanterns work all the time. Instead of being a tool. And having them only work sometimes. Because that's kind of dumb. Have grenade. Rude. That lingers? That is dumb. My attacks don't get to linger. Die. I don't like enemies. They're like, I'm gonna block all the time. Enemies that are just nothing but block, block, block. They're trash. They're garbage. And nobody loves them. We shall go this way so that we can grab more. Oh, hey! Uh, oh, no. That's just the frog's domain. I don't know where we that is. But apparently there's a giant tower that's going to come to life and eat me. The Librarian, Holy Cross Cathedral. Apparently you can block... Oh, that's scary. Boss of the Scavengers. Rooted Ziggurat Rifle. You do get a gun. Well, at least guns exist. Guns exist in this world. I always knew it. More ice potions... Well, not ice potions, but ice grenades... Whatever the hell that is. Is that a turn-in? That is a turn-in. That is a thing that gets given to the great gods. Your powwow is now dead. <gasps> oh, hey! Wait, uh, before just that, I'm gonna adventure a bit more. Well, since there doesn't seem to be anything back there, we shall. First things first. What this do? What the dog doing? That increases my spell power, I guess. Oh no, my stamina. I should increase my health. Health is important. And now I'm poor, so I don't think... Oh, yeah, you can't do that. That'll probably increase my mana bar. Because it's blue. Look at my health. It rises to the heavens. Grenade. 
<laughs> I'm gonna shoot you with my own magic. After all, why actually fight a semi-boss thingy when you can just shoot him? <laughs> oh, because it's not activated yet. <laughs> Understood. Understand the concept of love. Hmm. The power of Assassin's Creed. How dare you have a swingy swing. I am the only swinger that shall swung. Oh no, loading screen. Do you think you can use magic? No. No magic for you. I am the magic man. The magic who can. Yeah, and it seems that this is just like the loop-de-loop -loop around for the upstairs doorway like this I was wondering why there were two doors it's because they lead to the same place go spell your name backwards and die oh that's not good why do you rush why does you, your attacks linger? That is bullshit. I will say it. The fact that his attacks like super duper come at me, bro, is shenanigans. I froze myself. And it took, uh, it put out his fire. Goody. All right, that's neat. Fighting a, your body, your body's, oh yeah, I was going to say, your body was still there. But note to self, ice can put out fire. So if you're just sick to death of an enemy and you don't want to deal with them, you can just ice him a little bit. Ice him a question. Laugh in their face as they scream for mercy. Die. <laughs> you aren't nearly as terrifying without your fire, you. You stupid little stupid face. I pray to your gods better than you. Your gods respect me. Wait. I think I just realized another thing to the prayer. Maybe? Nah, I thought for a moment that if you do the prayer thing, it'll actually raise your mana up to a certain degree. Like, it wouldn't... Like, I figured it would, like... If you have an odd number of mana, if you do the prayer thing, it will... Raise the mana back up to a... Like, a whole block. See you, fool! You have remarkable range, but it is for naught. For I am a wonderful Billy Boney. Oh, hey, I can sell mushrooms to the god. Don't know why gods need mushrooms or money, but... Ah, you know. 
Yep, magic power. I'm coming to kill your cult. That shouldn't have hit me. Telling you straight up. Coward. Double coward. He just went to the same place again. That's not effective hiding. You fail at go seek. What's gonna happen to the candles? What's gonna happen to the candles, Billy? How they even put the candles on top anyway? How do things be things if things cannot be things? And if things are things, how do they work? Does mean I'm gonna have to fight a few annoying dudes, but oh well. These guys aren't terrible. I refuse to play your games, Magic Man. Alright, that's stupid. Why is he gonna ca get his cast spells? They can hit me, but I can't hit him. Shenanigan bullshit. And now I'm gonna go run all the way back. Wait, now I don't need to do all this because there's a rest thing to the immediate left. Right here, I believe. Did I go to the left? Or did I come from the left? We'll have to see. Because again, everything gets topsy-turvy. Do we have a map of this place? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's just the... Oh, you want to snipe these guys? Pedestal. See ya, sucker. Interior of the vault. This is going to be a boss battle. Oh! This is the quick teleport! There is fast travel! Lol. There is fast travel. I'm just a dummy and... Okay, doke. Interesting. Alright. Alright then, there is fast travel. I've... Okie do. And we can rest here. Alright, interesting. There are fast travel points that I can make use of. Alright, that's like warning, death awaits. Oh, that's going to be a big boss, and I don't have that many uh, bombs. I am inside the monster. Well, that's uh, a bit crazy. All right. Rude. Ow. 
I need to run more. Okay, camera's being wonky and weird. I dodged. Game's being mean. Kind of annoyed by the, like, Hit boxes. Yeah, the hit boxes of like the physical hit boxes of like, oh, low, you can't do thing is very annoying. Like, oh, you're trying to move? You can't. The game is very mean about that. Could have beaten it if the game wasn't being stupid with that kind of thing. Let me move through certain objects. Oh, but you need to move me. No, just let me actually go where I want to go, game. Also, the fact that you can't actually... Like, lock on and run is kind of reductive. And again, oh, you can't go through the gap in the character's legs, even though we put a he can step over you, but you can't actually do things. It's kind of silly. Let me go through the arch in his back leg game. Fix your camera. Why is it focusing on the left side when the boss is to the right? That should have been hitting his diddly D. Once again, go through the arch of the back leg. You put an arch there. Let me go through. Oh, but that would be mean to the boss. And we can't be mean to the boss. Yeah, I don't like that my movement options are partially dictated by if I'm locked on or not. That's a bit too Zelda-esque, if you ask me. Yeah, the, the lock-on system can be ever so slightly bo wonky here. Whereas the, <laughs> we're trying to be big game, you can't be big. The lock-on system doesn't support it. <laughs> ever so slightly wonky. Also, again, would be nice if I could go through the very clearly defined arches in the boss's design. Yeah, if there was just a few bits of quality of life done to the overall mechanics, I would have first tried that boss, I'm fairly certain. I got a screw. Yeah. 
Just felt kind of like a wonky boss, all things considered. Purely because this boss has arches, but you can't walk through them. Why? Because that would make the boss trivial. That's basically what it felt like. Hello there, Microshell. Thank you very much for the raid. I am mildly complaining about nitpicky problems I had with the first... Well, I guess technically second boss I've had for here, here, this here tunic. Overall, having very much fun. Puppy raid? Huzzah for puppies. Puppies are nice. Now, I, now I'm worried that there might be like a puppy-like monster in the game later on. Fear will happen. Also, I discovered that fast travel exists. This game is the epitome of, we're not going to tell you anything. And I both love it and hate it. It's a, it's a, it's a magical thing. Enjoying Tunic? I've been streaming it too. I have indeed been enjoying it. Part of me is just like, I want to find all the things, but it's hard. Because, again, you need to find the manual. And then you need to read the manual. It's just a very interesting experience. It's like... <laughs> it very much feels like Dark Souls and Zelda crammed together. Alrighty. Somebody knocked down the ladder. What a jerk. I didn't... I Oh, it's another merchant! Huzzah! This guy freaked me the fuck out the first time I saw him. I don't even know what the plush does! How much money do I have? That's not the right button. I only have $100. I don't think I can buy a plush. What do you... I keep pressing that button thinking it's inventory for some reason. Yeah, it's just like, I'm succumbing to my, I am afraid, because I don't want to use some of these items, so I don't know what some of them do. I bought this. I don't know what it does. I was hoping, ooh, maybe it's an upgrade thing. It was not an upgrade thing. It appears I am not the only one to have been scared by Skelly Shopkeeper. That's always nice. It's relatable. Hello, lobster. No, not lobster. No, or maybe lobster. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Brain's like, it has claws, but its eyes are weird. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel like it's long enough to be a lobster, and it's a bird. Oh boy. Die, bird. Maybe you have thing. No, it just died. And there's, a, there's another hole. Is there a purpose to the hole? Is it the, the answer is no. Uh, no, this one. Give! The treasure chest is mine! It's mine! Let go of my treasure chest. More magic bar. If I so choose. Just realized. I should have put this expression on for the raid. It's a, it's a symbol of thanks. Dibbity dee. Hey. Be gone. Here. Yeah. Be gone. Let no. Get on the railway. There's lots of lobsters. Lots and lots of lobby lobsters. Well, at least we're up here, so we can pray to the great monolith. Hail Space Odyssey 2001. Then it's mostly like, where are all the secrets? Where are all the back alley ways of getting to the treasure chests? Is what it feels like half the time. I keep forgetting that I can do that to get a bit more. I assume there's got to be a grapple hook. Something. There's got to be things I need to find. Another effigy. I forget what that upgrades. Almost pressed map again. It's not an upgrade. Or was it? No, no, it is. It's just for some reason when it's over here, the... 
like a, I guess silhouette makes it feel like it's not there. B b eyes and brain goes bleh. Stuff's hidden everywhere. Gotta sniff all of them out. Indeed. And that's the difficult part. Because it's isometric, so they can hide so many secrets. And just make it impossible. And then so... Oh, key? 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 Oh, no. I guess we're just gonna... Eh, I wish I could see more back there. Reveal thy secrets, dear world. I will not abuse it. Be gone, Satan. Sister beings to the crab. At least I assume so. I'm not a biologist. Marine biologist at that. Oh. I didn't even expect that. I was just like, there's a thing. Then it yelled at me. Alrighty. A ladder. I should also be using this more. Oh, hey, Frog's Domain. We have a map for that. I've been wondering where you were, Frog's Domain. We're going to wander around this new overworld section and see how much we can hammer out. Oh, boy, another shard of a healing glass. Another, I guess, uh, shortcut. Oh, I guess it's expecting me to go a different route, and then I can use that to dibbity dee. Marine biologist was my second career choice. It ended up being a line cook instead. That's a coincidence. Got to love mini coincidence. Oh, hell, they invade from the water. What fun. The gun setting. Die. If you ever get hit by a fireball underwater and die, that must be embarrassing. Haha, <laughs> stupid not crabs. I am the lord of these lands. Do you just run away, or are you going to, like, sneak up on me and eat me? What? I, I was going to comment on the D-Leaf, and then it decided to jump scare me. What fun. Oh, boy. More demon birds. And I can't... I need to find a way around. Or do I? I guess technically, yes. Oh boy, we're gonna be, I guess, Banjo, well, no, Banjo Kazooie had a diddly dee. Is that like a revive card? Because these explain nothing! Well, some of them. That's more attack, that's more defense. I'm going to assume that's, hey, if you die, you come back to life. I still don't know what that is. I still don't know what that is. I think it's said a bit in uh, over here somewhere. I think it was super, or, um, ah, here. Inverted ash, don't have that. Muffling bell. I guess if you want to be sneaky. Cyan pearl ring. Defense but peril. I don't know what that is. Like, there's so many secret things that you can, like, try to learn. Wait, oh. <laughs> For some reason, my brain is like, Hark, that other figure that's touching the... Loose spirit is different from the fox. No, it's just a, a dash cloud making it look like hair. Stilly brain. Seeing... Is that gonna... That looks like it's damaged. I swear again. Heart of Etheria, Magitek Doom. Oh boy, that's gonna come to life. Thank you, Lock-On, for spoiling me and making sure I have more things to fear in life. Hmm. Ow! I keep forgetting I can do that. But we're gonna go this way instead. Which leads back here. So I'm going to assume I should probably seek out other lands in search of a grappling hook. I assume. Need to go all the way back to... Map! Oh! There is a lot that I am missing. Because I can't get up on that. Feel around. Do, 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 do. 
this it gives an odd feeling where you're just like looking over the map and you're like hmm and then if i go here maybe i can be able to go a different direction You make weird noises, bird. You are very odd. I don't know. I don't know if you're related to anything. Or if you're just there. Maybe I can sneak around. Probably not. Kind of interesting that it let me come here regardless. Maybe, baby. Bear, bear, bear. Just got to adventure. Okay, next thing to do is to go down the knot. Because I thought it was just going to be a... What's the word? A shortcut. No, it's actually a come down here. Here's a shortcut. My brain wanting to do everything usually leads me to ignore the path that's directly in front of me. Ironically, causing me to miss out on things. Or is this a shortcut, or is it taking me- No, it's taking me to a new place. Oh, oh hey, it's hell! Freeze! Because you're big and scary! I see big, I see scary, I say die. <laughs> I love chain reactions. Chain reactions are fun. <laughs> big meaty claws, indeed. There are more of the wall things that are going to come terrorize me. I can only assume. Or maybe they're just repeated design choices to instill paranoia in players. Maybe all of the above. Well, let's go up the Tower of Doom. The Tower of Momentai. Pray to the obelisk, for it is our multicolored savior, probably made by Apple. What am I saying? It's not made by Apple, because Apple has planned obsolescence. Well, then again, everything does seem like it's uh, falling apart, so maybe. I knew it! Hell has come! I guess it kind of makes sense. We put the power stick back into the tower. Gave them power. Just more money. But we need money. For the various things that we can kind of buy. Why is there even a white tree of dead ash blooming from this place? There's no soil for it to put down its roots. How dare it grow there? Oh boy, now we're in hell. Oh boy, more big meaty claws. Oh, yes, you. All right, uh, gotta get. Oh, okay. It's actually really easy to kill. It's just it's super armored, but if you hit it during its window, it's <laughs> it's doomed. And I dig the music. I love that it's not like in your face music. It's just nice background music. But when you notice it, you're like, yeah, this is really well made. It's really nice. Now, don't get me wrong. Toho esque music that's like, we're gonna pound in your face. Pleasure your ears. That's always fun. These are corrupted monstrosities, as from the looks of that corpse. Oh, that's not a monstrosity of doom, it's a pod. Oh no. Bite me! They are intentionally trying to surround me. Oh dear god. They're intelligent. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Uh oh. Maybe not so intelligent that they're. like, uh. like, uh, making their attacks at decent times, but they're actually trying to flank me. And make me focus on one of them so they can come at me from behind. That is nice. I enjoy some AI that can kick my ass. Come on, lock onto the thing. I want to lock onto the middle thing so I can cause it to explode and kill the the others. Like that. Damn you. They they down Mr. Presidented the Explodey. 
the, the, I wanted that to happen from the start. But the game is like, no, it's sleeping. You don't know it's there. But I know it's there. It's like you're playing D and D, and you know there's a thing right there. But in universe, your character doth not know. So you can't do anything about it. The explosions in this game are just so violent, and I just remembered I can actually open up the Dilly Dang Gate. Completely, or can I? I can! Open the gate! I just love the feeling of exploration in this game. Okay, that's interesting. When you find a suspicious looking chest with teeth. Basically, yeah. I just wonder. It's like, I wonder how deep the lore of this place goes. Because it feels like there could be deep lore. Or it could be fairly simple. Or it could be deep lore. Worthy of a Vate Vidya, like, centric, we're just gonna do tunic lore. That's the entire basis of our YouTube channel. I just love the feel of this game. It's nice, it's lively. And it's cryptic, and it makes you think. Oh boy, Doom, hell approaches. I love my little staff of Doom. Praise Space Odyssey 2001 Obelisk. You know, that would be a hilarious thing. Going off of the when you find a suspicious chest of teeth. That would be a... What? Um... Okay. Uh, but yeah... That would be an interesting, like, setting for a, uh, like, campaign. Like, you're in a specialty chest, like, decorator. So, like, there are a bunch of chests that look like they should be mimics. But they aren't. And you have no way to know which one are mimics and which ones aren't. But, oh, come on. There's clearly a way that way of treasure chesting. How do I find my way? on the but yeah this is still absolutely horrifying oh that lowers my oh dear I did not realize that that it actually lowers my maximum health that I hope deal thee that goes away once I rest at a statue Oh no! Oh dear! Alrighty then. Hell has approached and infected my soul. Ever so slightly dick move, I say. Primarily because it's off in the corn. Hello, monster from the crypt. What are you doing here? I can head back to the gate and make my way back to the beginning and pray to God that it isn't a permanent haha. -ha. All your health upgrades are for naught because you wanted to stand and be. I'm going. What is this weird effect? Oh, God, I hate those creatures. Oh, boy. Doom approaches. The most magical of everything. And here I thought I would only be able to explore this place with grapple hooks. Give me back. Okay, good. I think I saw it jump back up. Thank God. Because that would be kind of cruel. If the game was just like, you stood in goop, you lose your health permanently. That would be nightmarish. But 
Good old kiddly dokily. Be gone, lobsters. How dare you hit me? I am the magical man. I am the little sexy fox here to... M I forgot that you exist. You are... <laughs> Thank God for my magical wand! Dang it. Okay, maybe they're not that intelligent. They just have a, a similar attack pattern. Eh. Okay, another get down, Mr. President moment. Eh. Okay, good. The magic came to me. I am magic attractive. Explode! I am playing very fast and loose. I am probably going to meet my death. Even though I've only died three times. Once to... Um, I'm trying to think. I think it might have been a big slime at the early part of the game when I was still learning the controls. Then I died when I felt game. I want to... Don't aim at the thing that's right there. Here to eat my soul. No, aim at the thing that's not aggroed. Silly bugger game. Uh, the second time that I died, I died because I ran like... A, a, I, mean, I can actually kind of show you. I ran, or is, oh yeah, it was over here. I was running about kind of d d d over here-ish, I think. Going between the little land masses. And then I just like fell through the world and died instantly. I don't think I lost any money, but I just clipped through the world and died. Oh crap, he has, uh, he's fast. You're probably... Dang it. Oh wow, you took a lot of damage in the end. Goodbye, boy. Oh boy, another card that I have no idea what it does. Now, this is the part of the crypticness that I don't appreciate, because it's just... What is that supposed to be? A hair in my wine glass? Aromic food scent! I don't understand. I don't understand it at all. I don't get it. I can enjoy some crypticness. Other crypticness I cannot enjoy, and that is a flower growing out of the, uh, the, out of a rock. That doesn't science. Oh, what the hell? What? Okay. <laughs> I did not expect. Whoa. I have now been kidnapped! <laughs> what? I was kidnapped! I was exploring! Well, hopefully. <laughs> wow! I got kidnapped! That's very disorientating. Well, at least now all of these have been activated. I can throw this down. And I'm going to pray to God. Wait, there might be thing the other way. In this direction, perhaps. Die. Ah, eh, just an enemy. That was very disorientating. And the enemy that was kind of scary didn't show up. The 
Hee hee hee, I am scary looking, and I... That guy never showed up. The glowy, glowy crypt monster didn't show up. Uh, do I pray to you now? I do! Okay. Oh, maybe I don't need to hold it the entire time and I need to get in for the big flashy. Teleport me! Gotcha. All right, I still don't know how to use you. I don't know how to use the telephone poles. <laughs> don't worry, you'll find them eventually. Oh boy, I'll find the horrible monsters that want to eat my soul eventually. See, this is the stuff where it's like, I appreciate the game being like, hey, figure it out for yourself. But then I'm just like, but God damn it, I'm very dumb. <laughs> I also appreciate that all of the merchant caves have a blue glowing eyes. So that's always nice. Yes, bird, we know you're scared. You're horrified at my very existence. But okie doke, we unlocked the mysteries of this... Wrong button game. Of this place, generally speaking, we activated all those, and now there's just that. There is the frog domain, which is apparently that way. Maybe there's a hidden path. We shall explore that way a little bit before trying to find somewhere else, perhaps. Let us see. Let us adventure. If only I was slightly stronger, I could one-shot those monstrosities. All right, let's take a look at the map. To get over there, we need to just eh, kind of go about this way. Be gone, lobster. You act as if you have a big meaty shield to save you, but you do not. You are fuel. You are hubris. And I am your executioner. I do not have a cooking pot of which to cook you with. How dare you. But I do have a wand. Die. And... Hmm. Aha! There we go. Because maybe... Hmm. It says kind of off the broken bit. Go behind. So. Because lots can be hidden by perspective. But at the same time, it could be a thing. It's like, hey, come back later. And I do not know. Very uncertain. Because as it says right there, frog domain. And I also just noticed, and there's also a cave there that we might want to visit, but there's a golden road that like goes down there, then there, then there's the broken bit. But I don't think we can fix it. And then it goes D, D, and I'm going to assume that means it goes underwater? Yeah, because these parts are black, whereas this one specifically is golden. I am intrigued. Remember to stay hydrated. It is very important when you are at the beach looking for the frog domain. Either way, it could make you very salty. Hmm. I ponder. I wonder. Because... Doo -doo -doo.
It obviously doesn't, like, the actual power diddly itself doesn't actually jut out into the ocean. So, there must be another thing. Related-ish, perhaps. My brain is running a thousand miles a minute and missing, like, all the, probably all the little details. Brain can be very dumb. Could also be a thing that's like, hey, I can do that later. But we have the diddly for the magic orb. And apparently we f I fight two bosses there. I don't know. I ponder. I wonder. I want to get there, but I don't know how. Hmm. I also just realized these are numbered. One, uh, one two, three, four. I don't think that's actually important, but... Wait, what? And what's this supposed to be? The musical birds? Are they tied to this? Oh, the mysteries! I swear I'm gonna probably end up spending more time in this virtual manual than anything. Hmm. No, we don't want to look at that. Just trying to think. So maybe it is a kill all the birds. It's kind of weird that, like, that note is different than the other three. I'm very confused. Oh, mysteries and horror. You know how a lot of people were saying, like, Oh, Breath of the Wild is like the return to Br Legend of Zelda 1. No, this is a return to Legend of Zelda 1, and then expanding on it. Hello and welcome to Cryptic Hell. Cryptic Hell, where you have to find out everything yourself. Or if you're just like, I'm going to degrade myself and let myself be taken in by online diddly dees and guides. I don't want to look at guides because I'm not frustrated yet. That is basically my go-to thing. If a game doesn't frustrate me, oh hey, it's, that, it's the robot monster that we're probably going to have to fight in the frog's domain. Oh boy. But yeah. We're specifically looking for the birds. I assume. I assume there's four of them. Maybe. But I don't know. Bird. I see you. You dancing bird. I'm going to come kill you. How'd you miss me? How dare you dodge my attacks. Fight me. Dodge all you want. You'll probably hit me. Haha, <laughs> die! I horribly mistimed that. Yeah, because I can only assume that the birds play some kind of role. I'm surprised that didn't hit me, because that I definitely would have earned that hit. Howdy, bird. I've come to harvest your soul. And those come out when I destroy the bird. Hmm. I wonder if I'm on to something or if I'm just like... What is it from Always Sunny? Oh, what? No, I did the game and did it again! They... Uh, that's spreading! That's spreading? I am fairly certain. Because I activate. I hate you. 
Probably because we activated the diddly D. All right, definitely worrisome. I'm gonna run far away. There has to be a secret back here. There just has to be. I was just gonna mention, hey, I probably should have looked at that cave that was over here that I noted. Ah. Oh. I see. Ah. Ha ha ha. Ah. Such majesty and wonder and ow. But I'm still on the lookout for that final bird. There has to be four. They have to be tied together. That wouldn't be doodled in the margins of the manual if they were not important. <laughs> and now I'm just getting bastard. Yeah, I'm just looking for that final bird. Because, again, they wouldn't have doodled a bird. Like, this isn't like an actual in-universe, oh, ho, ho. This is just the diddly deem doodles of a random person kid. No. This is, like, the developers. They put this in here. It has to be important. If it is not, then why? If it is not, then why? Words to live by. Wish I could like set up that ladder again and actually use it. Make it functional. Here birds that don't want to die but must. All right. Exploration is difficult. Especially when you don't have a full understanding of what it is you're even looking for. Because, like, quite literally, if it wasn't for the little doodle of the birds in the margin... Oh, I can't put the ladder up. I am dumb. Fair not? It's just me being dumb. Status quo is being held. And off we go. Hmm. It's like there there has to be things. There has to be answers. Hmm. No, that's where we found the key. That was the auto... And I can only assume that would be an auto turret if it still was alive here to eat me. So... Doo -doo -doo. I can only assume that that's kind of a... Come back when you have a grapple hook. Because that's all I can assume. So, I do believe that that's everything we can do here, because I can... Uh, if I were a developer, I'd probably put the final bird, like, in there in the grapple hook area. There are secrets that we cannot unravel just yet. So, we shall climb the ladder and go someplace else. I am within the ladder. Fear me. I am Ladder Man. Alrighty, then. Library Annex. Let's head this way, just for the giggles.
And it is another come back when you have a grapple hook. So we can do a good chunk of the puzzle over there, but can't actually... It's the final bird. Great, the adventure is renewed. My brain is just like, oh no, I found the fourth bird. The slaughter begins anew. Because <laughs> again, four directions, four birds. Come to me, fight me. Fight me! Fight me! I hate you, bird. You are ugly. You are mean. You do not pay taxes to the fox overlord gods. And that is why you must die. Alright, so now all that's left is the one on the tower. Let's see if things happen if we destroy that one too. I honestly doubt it, in the grand scheme of things. I kind of doubt there actually being that much of a secret based around, but again, it's in the margins of the virtual D. Bird tax, exactly. All birds must pay a tax for the presumed puzzle that probably exists only in my mind. At least this will put an end to it early, so I won't be, like, looking for the bird for five billion years. The answer will be halved right now. I still love the explosions in this game. And the answer is, it does not appear to be anything. We're gonna put Happy Dancing Bird with, like, notes in four directions over this anomalous thing. It hurts my soul. Because it just it feels like it would be a thing. Oh god, now my brain is like, hey, you want to think up possibility of there, like, being a puzzle relating to the birds? What if you have to corral the birds in a specific direction? And now my brain is crying. It's like, what kind of puzzle would that beget? I do not know. Well, that is something that I'll have to read about in a guide in the future, probably. Because I have no idea what to what I'd do with them. What I'd do with the birds, where I'd corral them. Especially because one of them is all the way over here, so it can't actually be corral the birds in a specific direction. But there are four of them. Four of them! What am I supposed to do with that? But we can continue. Uh, there's one over here. Hidden-ish. But it probably just takes me to the temple, I assume. If you ever want a hint, let me know. I've got plenty far in this game. Okie doke. Uh, okay, we're in the heart of Etheria. So definitely day proves that this is not magic, but technology. I swear, the big punch is going to come when we actually learn how to read those runes. It's going to be like, extermination of all life, machine. Oh, hey, it's here. Hello. Here, we just stand on the same 
mystical stone day after day. Then one day, um, <laughs> an enemy of the state just barrels through. Surprise! Need to go to the overworld. So, I guess we can give the one diddly D thing to the bar. Wait, and then we could also go down there and activate that. Ha ha! Plans have been planned. Let's quickly see. Do we have anything to give up? Uh, do we want more magic power? How much money do we have? Eh, sure. Let's get more magic power. And heal. Healing's good, too. Nope, I, I just wanted to dodge and run game. No need to activate the praise of the gods. Again. Okie dokily do da. Let us go and plug in the first boss destructor. Yes, I have it. At least I thought I did. Yeah, I thought maybe that's not that specifically, or maybe I need them all at the same time. I do not know. I thought I could plug it in, but I cannot. Probably because they want to save for the big bombastic. Haha. -ha. You plug them in one at a time and everything rumbles. You create a god of not your understanding. But let us now see. I guess we could... Oh, yeah, I forgot we were going to head over there so we can pray to the other diddly dee. Ha ha ha. So let us go over there. I can go through ropes, but I cannot go through wood. <laughs> Very silly. Yes, magical bell. And then I think there was also a ba 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 magical pray to this obelisk in one of the I think at the end of the dark tunnel tomb place. You might have to take a look at. Let's see, because we just want to go all the way down. We have a lot more health than last than the last time we were here. Eh. You have too little health for your health bar, fool. I forget. Did we go this way and there was nothing? Oh, no. For some reason, I didn't come this way. Weird. More leaves. I think they uh, give more stamina. Stamina mana. Your shield will not protect you. It hardly protects me. Magical obelisk. I'm here to pray to you. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. Nope, we can't. I want to pray to the magic lob. What? Okay. What? I am very confused. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, ma, ma, ma. I just want to pray to the obelisk, but there's no way to get to it just yet. Unless I play, uh, pray beneath it. This is like right below it. It should extend down here. It wor It works! I can play a uh, pray to the obelisk! And my brain's answer is... Really? 
All right, so that activated the teleporter spot. But I still have no way to actually get around anywhere over here. Okie doke, but hey. And I just realized there's another... <laughs> another merchant that I never visited. And you see, stuff like that... Bo I love I both love and hate that the game does that because it's unique it feels rewarding to be like aha I did a thing but then your brain turns on and be like imagine all the things that your brain isn't wired to think about that the game developers put into this game and it makes me angry <laughs> Okie do. Wait, actually, idea, because if I am trying to think, do, 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 do. I'm trying to imagine and think again, because I was only underneath in the weird uh, Heart of Etheria tunnel thingies for only a little bit, but I could have sworn there was also a prey to this obelisk potential moment in there, but I am uncertain. Could I pray to the door and have it open? That is a thought. Well, off to adventure and discovery, I suppose. Die! Nobody will mourn you. You are but technology. But yeah, like, there has to be a moment where the game's like, and now you can read the runes, and it's gonna be some kind of punch. Like, that just, it's gotta happen. Sometime, it's gotta happen. If it doesn't happen, I'll be kind of bothered. You're gonna put all the runes in this game, and then have none of the runes mean anything. I cannot wait for the further discoveries the game will throw at me. Take that technology, I have magic. Or maybe it's also his technology and this is just a future lighter. Wrong button. I just need to find the way back. There we go. Wrong way. Die, trees. You are unwanted in this world. You're not even real trees. Real trees can't be cut down. I'm also surprised that this doesn't, like, get up at one point. Maybe I can pray to it. Oh, magical god being, come slay me. Nope. She's got a wade, even though it doesn't even look that deep. Who am I to say? I am not the actual... Fox boy. Yeah, let's see. Did we go that way? I want to say we went that way. I'm going to assume that we did. As I head on my various just brain going, I want to. I, I also forgot that I could have just taken that shortcut. Brain dumb. Can I pray to you? Wait. I know that so the symbol on that door and a bunch of. That's not what I wanted, game. Mm -hmm. But the symbol that was just on that door and a few other places, like uh, that door as well, correspond to that obelisk. I don't know what that means, but I have a minor idea. Mwahaha. I've made a discovery, huzzah. Potentially. Probably not. 
Maybe I can pray to the hero's grave. Ha 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 ha! I just discover uh, a new thing. I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I need to upgrade my various, or maybe. It seems there are various teleport spots. So maybe I need to upgrade my various things to like extend the bridges so that I can be like, yes, I am worthy of the hero's power maybe. Well, all right, the a new mystery has been added onto my burdened soul. All righty then. More to think about, more to wander. I'm going to kind of backtrack because please lead to the prayable. No, I think it's at the top. Yeah, it's at the top. That's where I got the, what you call it. Because let's see. Right now we're in this area. But if we back, well, hmm. ponder, ponder. Really, what I should probably do is use the shortcut to get back. Just go through the well section. And because the da da da. That is in the uh, da 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 da. The, yeah, the under well section. So I could get to it through backtracking through the nightmare that is the dark tunnels. But instead, I shall just waste a little bit of time that's a bit safer. Backtracking a different way. And actually use this. Still ever so slightly. I should be careful because this is where I fell through the planet before. I fell through the planet and died, and don't think that the game took away money, but at the same time, I'd rather avoid that. But now I'm just going to be, like, looking at everything, wondering, can I pray to that? <laughs> Is that a deity? Just various things are going to make me paranoid. I wonder if I could... Let's pray here, see if anything happens. The answer is no. Can we pray to this pool of water? You introduce a mechanic, I'm just going to spam it, because anything can happen. Anything at all. Dokey dokey. Let us head on over to the well. Where is the well in the overworld again? It was over there, so not terrible. I think there's a shortcut around this way anyway. Can I pray to the bell? I doubt it, but why not? Once again, is this a deity? Is this a thing I can pray to? Can I pray to the shopkeep? The answer is no. How much for that? I only have 300.
It's just very interesting how the game... Like, it doesn't even really feel like the game is giving me anything. It's more like informing me, by the way, you can do this. And I'm like, I can do that? And the game's like, yeah, you can do that. I could do that the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? I'm telling you now. Well, down into the well I go again, because it's not that bad a trek. To the prayer shall be. Ever so slightly a bit of a load zone. Die. Still love how brutal the explosions feel. We can ignore that. Come over here. Oh, wait. We don't even have to go over there because I got a shortcut last time I was here. And we should be able to just go through here. Let's see. To the well. We're going to ignore the boss, like... Thing, but at, wait, at the same time, boss. It wasn't really a boss. Because we're going to activate this. <laughs> we're going to activate it. We're going to activate it. And things are going to happen. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, such majesty. Oh, this is going to be so interesting. I love discovering things. That's the best thing about this game so far. The feeling of discovery. I haven't been here before. Probably because I'm dumb. Be guns. How dare you be able to hit me in the dark of the night. That was it. Oh, I wanted to find more. But apparently there is because... Maybe it's... Nope, can't go there. It has to be thing. I guess that's just, hey, that's a secret area you found. But it feels like there should be more. It just it leads into here. It should lead further. Hmm. Maybe if I go around then. Because maybe it delves even deeper. Well, we could go and see if the, hmm, ponderance, ponderance. It feels like this game is a big old puzzle, and I kind of like it. Oh, I can't light the candles on fire. But I wanna. Hmm, it just feels like it would go deeper. Maybe. Hmm. Be gone. All right, there is one auto turret in here. Forgot about that. Yes, yes, tentacle thing that I'm not even entirely sure the purpose of. 
Oh wait, this part is activated. This section's activated now, I think, because I don't think it was activated before. There. So many secrets. Another one of those? What do they mean? They look the exact same, but you're not. That's a lunacy. More secrets! Not the worst secret in the world. Still, more secrets. That thing that I don't know what it does. Because I refuse to use it because it's a usable. And I'm afraid that if I use it, I'll lose it. When in actuality, the adage, if you don't use it, you lose uh, Use it or lose it. I absolutely butchered it, but in the end, I got the meaning through. Then I guess we'll head back towards the dark and disturbing area. It's just the way that everything is like interconnected is so interesting. Because, yeah, this just leads to the... I forget, is the door... Yeah, I opened the door. Because this is how we first got in to this place. Take your time loading. I'm just very intri- A thought comes to mind. I should probably save here, just in case I die. If I get cocky and just keel over. But... I am interested to see. Can I pray to the altar that's in here? The diddly D. Because there is a specific, uh, like again, now that I know that I can pray, my entire thing is just like, can I pray to this? Can I pray to that? Can I pray to this? Can I pray to that? Kick a skull down the way, why don't you? Ah, great. Oblivion comes for me. Hark! Death approaches! Forgot that wasn't a viable way up. Will you get up these stairs? Said it a boy. Can I pray to you? I wanted to pray to you. Just figured it was worth a trot. Nope, no, I'm not delving further into the, the darkness and the doom again. Once was enough. God, there are just so many secrets. game is very interesting but I just need to think of where to go next because yeah I already got the eastern vault thing anything trying to think
ba 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 I forget exactly where I got the lantern. No, the lantern was through there. Back to the well, I say. Which, luckily, it's right here, so... Hibbly-dibble. Because I want to make sure that I exhaust all possibility of, like, go here, go there, make sure that I haven't missed anything important. Never mind me, I'm just passing through. Hark, death approaches, but I'm faster. And I'll definitely have to come back th I, if I can even remember how to get there. Try to... Nope. Uh, because for some reason my brain was, oh, I can reach that ladder. The answer is no. I don't even know where we are here. Hmm. Obviously, deeper down. Eh, eh. Because if I can kill, I just need to find... Hmm, actually, that's an idea. Wish the loading wasn't so sudden, but anyway, I can't fault them too much. Let's see. Uh, yep. How do we get there again? Need to do do do. I don't actually know. I know I got there before. But how? Hmm. That's another that's the one downside to these kinds of big old worlds that don't tell you much is that eventually you're gonna come to something you'd be like i'll come back later then you forget how you got there <laughs> chase me all you want you will never touch my fluffy tail hither and hither yes yeah, so, so far this is like very fantastic game. Like, the, just being able to go so many places, do so many things. Love the exploration, love the feel of things. Still don't know how that, what that means to stand for. Can't open the gate, I don't think. I'll fight you. And your whole family. Be gone and suffer. Don't know how to get that. That page. Now I can be down here, fight you. And bully the auto turret. Die, auto turret. Because again, it has to do something because these tuning fork things are all over the place. So there has to be something that interacts with them. I doubt it's this, but no, it is not that. What are you? Okay, they're just, they're piggy banks. I did piggy bank. I'm going to assume this is a minor boost to health. Yep. Bomb, bomb, bomb. 
magic, throwing well. What's your jalapeno? I'm going to assume that's a combat buff. Laurel. It's probably a defensive buff. But then what are you? I do remember there was an item list mentioned. Lure. You scare enemies with it. All right. Hot Pepper Ivy, all right. Effigy, which is just smash it for money. Or something. They say that if you throw enough bombs, you'll get a prize. Note Holy Cross. So there's another magical thing I can find, but I don't know where. I don't know where, Billy. Uh, I need to find my way back down there. I need to find my way back down there, but I need to find it first. Back to map. All right. So, it's not any of that. So, we need to head back down to that area. Back to exploring the original area. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt. <gasps> I have fire. I have fire. I can maybe light the thing in here. Magical power. Oh. Come on, I have fire. Damn you. Also, I don't know why they call an effigy. Basically, a, what is a piggy bank? They call it an effigy. I guess because it's like an effigy in the shape of the fox hero. The dear, the dear tunic boy. But still. Just feel it constantly feels like there should be more and more than what there is. Is this where it is? Another door that we maybe if we pray to it, doubtful. It's probably another one of those ones that I presume we need to do the puzzle with that big. Uh, Golden obelisk to properly do. Oh, now this is just back around to this area. But surprise, there's a secret this way too. Fear me, I am the magic person. And yep, from what I have gathered, the pepper is... A minor combat boost. Very interesting. So it's like if you feel like you're just on the cusp of beating a boss. It's like, go ahead, do this. Alright, now we need to play this. I hate dealing with you. Hmm. No, that's not what I want. Oh, hey. So that's one way to do it. I hate that your body caught me on fire. How dare you? I love that certain enemies, that probably increases the power of my potions, 
But I love that certain enemies have, like, certain kind of counters to them. So, like, the candelabra dudes, if you freeze them, their fire goes out. You burn that guy, he loses his shield. Another prayable, but I don't have grapple hook! Which I can only assume is for... I can only assume that's a grapple hook. For, like, getting across things. Oh. Uh, that's modern infrastructure. That's modern infrastructure. I mean, I, it's, it's just weird because, yes, there is this magical technology that's super advanced. But it's also kind of like ancient feeling in its construction. Then there's just like a radio tower over there. I don't think I'll be able to pray to it because it's not powered. But I don't have a grapple hook to power the way to it and yeah this is just modern infrastructure the quarry you're not powered you're not powered the scavenge oh fuck that's corrupted Can I pray to you? Obelisk of Doom says no. Which means I sacrificed my health for literally nothing. Ah, shit. There's a lot of bother. Suck it, jerk. Gotta quickly down one of these. Probably not the most efficient place to do it, but... All right. Very interesting. The design of this area is very, very interesting. Oh, hey, an attack upgrade. You bother me a lot. I hate enemies that run away. Enemies that run away are just very bothersome. Heedly he, I'm gonna run away and don't actually have any kind of blur. Then why do you exist? Might as well see if I can do it. Upgrade my attack even more. So like a part of me is now asking, Am I missing the necessary thing to like, oh, don't come here and do this just yet because you need to activate this obelisk to then activate your little heal zone. But then maybe if I go through and do things in the wasteland, maybe something will happen. It's just like, that's another part that I kind of don't like the kind of design a bit because it's just kind of sink or swim just we have a so slightly bothersome but at least we have access to a new area the forbidden pass i've uh defiantly had my moments of oh no i shouldn't be here yet i can definitely feel that but then it kind of spirals out where there's five billion places to go and then my brain just starts to short circuit. 
So yeah, boss of the scavengers. We'll probably have to beat him some point. Because let's see. I do believe we went that way already. Um, the, the little forested area. And that's where we fought that guy. I do believe. And then we got out because we discovered that we can teleport. But the east forest. The East Forest. Hmm. Okay, so... Because the map explicitly says that there is, like, some kind of hay. A doorway to get down there. It has to be here somewhere. Ah, eh, well. But let's see. I guess we should explore more about that area, because I don't think I've explored that area over there all that much so let's go exploring see if we can find more answers to our questions that are never answered quit hiding behind tuning forks oh hey now i kill these guys in two hits nice Gonna head in here, cause just to make sure. It'll definitely be interesting to like slowly discover like the overall story, cause again, all of this is like medieval fantasy. And then over there is modern infrastructure. <laughs> so the question is, where the hell, what, why? Oh yeah, I forgot that you're a shotgun bastard. Hmm. The tiles have to mean something. I assume. Like the tiles in front of these diddly dee. Oh yeah, I remember you. This kind of area. All right. Oh, I never open this gate. I'm a dumb. I'm a big dummy. Oh, All right, that's rude. I pray to the destroyed statue. I mourn your forsaken sexiness. Who threw the statue's head in the water? It's very rude. Just got to find various of everything. Oh, hey. Now I can three shot you. But luckily, wrong button, because there's actually room to maneuver, I can just do that. Wow, you take a lot of damage if I hit you correctly. And then because I got uh, caught up in other areas, I don't think I came down here. All right, that's rude. Stat uh, I have a statue, it's an auto bolter. Silly flibbity flu. I'm going to explore more out here, because I think that leads back into the heart of Etheria area. And I think that leads me to the statue. Or, not the statue. Yeah, it technically leads me to a statue. But the, the most important thing. It leads me to a ladder. 
Is something going to pop up and try and eat me? For money. Because that could have been a mini boss arena. Eh, could have sworn. But I can maybe go this way. I knew there would be secrets! Oh, it's danger! Thank you, other autocaster, for not spawning in just yet. Oh, thank God, the other one missed. Okay, this end it ate my input. Oh no! Die. Hourglass? Hourglass? I have a time stop ability? For what, though? What could that be used? Catching the bastards in the quarry is for one. But it has to have other purposes beyond just that. And this leads me to the beach side of this area. Oh, I was gonna hope that I could like freeze time and walk on water. That would've been nice. That would've been cool. Hmm. But this over, cause, oh dear pamphlet. Apparently, this isn't the last ma- this isn't the Holy Cross. I was going to say that it probably was, but it does not appear to be. Very interesting. Ha. Huh. Don't know what your purpose is, but... Hey, <laughs> suck it! I have another lure if I want to catfish enemies. Huzzah. But I guess, I don't know. I was like, what kind of purpose is slowing down everything, including myself, going to do? Ponderance and ponderance. It's an interesting item, but it kind of feels just like, hey, here's another option, rather than, hey, this is very important. But hey, this leads to a new area, so... Joy. Well, new area. We've been here before. What's the purpose of this? <laughs> I'm going to take a moment to just sit back, because you're telling me I could go down there this entire time. Uh, like, I don't know. <laughs> just everything looping around is doing a number on my skull. <laughs> just the heedly he, this is from past here, it feels weird. It just feels so weird. Granted, it doesn't really feel like this is really much of anything to a degree, but let's see. I mean, it does mean that I could have gotten the hourglass very, very much sooner. But I'm just trying to ponder what the purpose, like, even of the hourglass is. Because, like, uh, the hourglass is interesting, but I I could go for a, a, a grapple hook. I could very much go for a grapple hook. Like, there has to be a way to get that treasure chest just down here somewhere. Like that. I could have sworn that I tried that, but eh. 
I forget what that does. Does that increase the potency of my... Yeah, that increases the potency of my potions. Oh, hey! Oh, uh, hey! Uh, secret behind the waterfall? No, just uh, a path over here. Which I guess is a secret in its own right. Another piece of the puzzle! Aw, oh, but I already beat all of that. But it does hint at... Other things. Wait. I didn't finish this area. Because while, cause while I did beat the boss, I don't think I snuffed out their big flame. And let's see. Uh, da -da, da -da -da. Show me where I am. <laughs> I could have sworn there was a, a cave on the beach. I'll have to come back down there and see. And also... Oh, no. I was going to say, ooh, maybe that. <laughs> the grapple hook is super useful. Uh, from how many things I've seen that I need the grapple hook for, most definitely. Most definitely. More gold coins. I need to throw more coins into wells. Throwing them into different wells or what, I don't know. But yeah, just the feeling of discovering, like, routes and stuff is super interesting. It, it feels like every step of this journey is an accomplishment because you have to kind of fight for it. I still don't understand, like, the purpose of the bibbidi ba. I guess there has to be something that is like a continuous threat, maybe. And you're like, aha, if I do this, I can like, uh, I don't know, do something. But I'm going to heal up here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to snuff out their flame, that little flame cult. Because why not? That's my answer my own question. It wasn't a question, it was a statement. Because I already beat the boss of this area. Did I throw... I don't think I threw a coin into here. Here you go. Oh, <laughs> That, that, that's useful! That's useful! That's a thing! But I still don't know what some of these do. I'm going to assume that that's because it's, like mentioned, like Muffle Bell. That probably makes it so that you're less likely to be noticed by enemies. That probably increases the potency of your potions. That probably increases your health. No idea, no idea, no idea defense. I'm going to go with the one that I actually know. <laughs> that I can comprehend. I keep pressing the wrong button. Like, see, this is the kind of time where I would, like, love if there was, like, I don't know, a, a, a creepy poem to go along with the items so I can be like, can I at least partially know what this does? All right, I'm gonna ask this question. Do I have to throw the coins into varying wells or can I just throw any coin into any well and have it work? <laughs> Cause I assume it's like a, an accumulative thing. I have. That's my that my assumption. I hate. I thought you were the. You are a very annoying bunch. Because my assumption is. Huh, I believe it's supposed to be varying, but I've lost track in my own playthrough. Any coin, any well. That is what I was hoping for. 
Because... Well, I'll kill these guys and show the appropriate thing. Because there is the, a graphic. This graphic. And... Uh, at, like, it made me wonder. It's like... Uh, does that mean that I could, like, throw three into one well? Or, like, it's... It, the way this is numbered is weird, because it looks like three, three. I was like, oh, this is two. And I, uh, but okay, no, just throw coins into wells. Got it, good. Because it was one or, it was either a cumulative any well, any coin kind of deal, or it was like very specific. Because this game is the type of game that I could see, like, especially because of the graphic. A part of me also, when I first found out about the well coin mechanic, was like, uh, do I activate every well and I, like, throw one coin into each well and something happens? So I'm just coming here to see if anything's different, because I've been here before. I came from the defense side last time. And, uh, anyway, the mystery of this place intrigues me and I can't wait to find out. Yeah, it's just... The way this game functions is just... So satisfying and cryptic. And I just really enjoy it. <laughs> I just... It, it's very satisfying. To just be like wandering around. And you're like, I wonder how this works. I wonder what this is. <laughs> Can I suggest something? Uh, if it's not too spoilerly, go right ahead. Because it's entirely possible I am missing something quite obvious. Ah, oh, crap, that's not what I wanted! Damn thee! Uh, oh, you came down to play! And now you teleported- oh, hell, it's him. Kill you. I, I can leave you alive. Meh. You looked behind the pedestal, but somehow didn't find a chest back there. I looked behind a pedestal, but didn't find something. Huh. I'm trying to think of, like, what old crap is you. I could just run past you. I hate you. <laughs> you are an annoying enemy to me. I flee. Oh, that, uh, that pedestal, yeah. I think... I'll have to head back, because I think I know what you're talking about. Yep, yep. If it's something like that, like, hey, you were, like, in the secret and missed it, it's just like, ah, yes. <laughs> Completely understandable. Enemy sets itself on fire. Dies. Basically. Yeah, because when it comes to games like this, my brain is firing, like, super duper fast. Okay, it's entirely possible. Yep, you are correct! Does that make me go fast? Because, again, I wish there was just, like, a basic description. What do any do? I think you may have been holding down run. Yeah, that's probably what it was. And I, or I, maybe I let go and didn't, didn't let it sit long enough. It's like, I just wish there was like a minor cryptic description of what these do. Because I'm just going to default to the, oh no, <laughs> defense and such. Hmm, but I'm in the right area, but it says giant candle. Is that just like, hey? Well, let's take a look. Further back. Hmm. I am half Tim. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to break down. If anybody knows what any of these do, like, just feel free to tell me because I am not going to find out on my own. They are too cryptic. <laughs> yeah, you don't get a description on a lot of items, and other uh, items are in runes. The mystical runes that refuse to be read. 
a part of me still hopes that there is a moment where the runes are finally translated and it's just there to like reveal the ultimate gut punch to you. Lucky Cup Heart makes enemies drop health for you sometimes. Huh. So I guess it is kind of a, hey, you're supposed to try it out, but it's just like, at the same time, <laughs> they could be anything. So what? Heart gives you 50% chance to have an enemy drop a heart when you kill them. It's nice to know. And I can equip it at any time. The bell increases enemy alert distance. So if you want enemies to like really come after you. I thought it was the muffle bell. But it makes sense if it's an actual bell, it would actually. Hmm. The anklet increases speed. I'm going to assume that's the anklet. Which, it didn't feel like it increases speed that much. But what do I know? These two are the ones that interest me the most. And then that one. Hello, wine. And that one, I think, is pretty basic. Probably increases the amount of uh, HP increased per... Diddly -dee. Sorry, I mean, Bell it makes it easier to sneak. That's what I assumed. Because <laughs> it was called Muffle Bell, I think, in the... Somewhere here. I do... I do really enjoy this. Like, <laughs> the virtual diddly D. Hints and clues. Apparently something's on page 49, but I don't think I have page 49. I do not have page 49. Potion switch. Potion switches your potions to restore magic. Huh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. But yeah, lucky cup, 15% chance. Inverted ash. Doesn't tell you everything, but it's very interesting. So yeah, bah, bah, bah. just losing my mind, like <laughs> pondering secrets. And then there are things on the overworld, like what does that mean? Make music outside window. The two fox cards change your ghost, who either explodes wider or gives you magic. Eh. When I first got one, I thought maybe this will give me an extra life so I die and come back. But then I got a second one and it's just like, yeah, that's probably not it. <laughs> now I'm just pondering everything. Where to go next? Hmm. I could maybe try behind that waterfall, because they love putting things behind waterfalls in this game. I don't think I can access the mountain door. I can go for the Forbidden Pass, but the Forbidden Pass seems like it's going to kick my ass. It does say down here, you can go left, but it's over water and I can't do that. I don't recall what the wing uh, wine glass does, but I think it's called Tincture. Hmm. Hmm. Just pondering. I can do the teleport, but I can't... I can only assume I still need the grappling hook. And I don't know what the grappling hook is. And I still don't understand this. What do the birds do? What are they... Like it says, ah, alert birds. And then this weird thing. And then there are four of them and the four music notes in various directions. I'm very confuzzled. <laughs> and everything is in runes. Everything is in runes. I'm just going to make sure because I don't think I need anything else here. There is the... Oh, there's a cave here, but again, I can't go over water. Have you been to the Rhine de Toll? Uh, the Ruined de Toll. If this is the Ruined de Toll, uh, this area, I have. I've gone and activated all of the obelisks. I've gone through the little teleporty where it's like, hee hee, here's the tuning fork. You don't ha can't get across the 
uh, floating island castle. I haven't been to Frog's Domain because I was like, I assume I need to follow the golden line, which is just like the power line, but I couldn't do that. And there was no way for me to like go underneath the water. And I kept trying to like uh, see if, but uh, no, could not, could not, could not. And yes, I have no idea what the birds have to do. You don't need a grappling hook to get to the domain. To the domain. I don't know. Hmm. But just everything. Wait, the domain. Bah, 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 bah. Map. My brain is just like, oh yes, we recognize the domain, but then I was actually thinking about it, man. Yeah, Frog's Domain, reachable without hookshot. Then I guess I shall try and head there then, because that would prove to be interesting, and it feels like something that I can do. Right, so I just need to find a teleport pad. And then I just need to not, <laughs> I just need to not act dumb. And find my way to the frogs. But yeah, frogs do make. <laughs> See, this is what happens when my brain goes too fast on pondering things. Because here I'm saying, oh yeah, frogs domain. And then I immediately forget that I said frogs domain. And it's just like, domain? What do you mean? Very silly brain. All right. There's a teleport pad down right here. I went through Frog's Domain before Eastern Forest. Ah. So at least that proves that this is well within my ability to do. Come fight me on my teleport pad. Come fight me and die. Right, then I do believe... Da -da -da -da. I activated one. I'm trying to think. Where did I activate one? I'll have to... Uh, did I activate it over there? Brain is going to Marlemince again. Hey, dee dee All right. Since we know that it is now indeed possible, let's flounder around that same area and get ample tips from helpful chat. Because I know that... It is over here-ish. But I am uncertain of how to get to it. I just remembered I don't have a third item. WD. Still don't know how much use the uh, hourglass will be, but meh meh. Head northwest. All right. So northwest to the left. I always mix up west and east. So like over here. Up the bricks. Oh, up the bricks, man. Too far up north. Up the bricks. This way. Oh. Uh, I could have sworn I tried this, but wait. Is this a secret? Just to make sure. Nope, it's just a little alcove for flavor. There we go. This is a place I've been meaning to look for. Once again, I could have sworn I already came, uh, tried that, but oh well. Now we are here. Hello, Froggy. I'm here to kill you. There we go. And see, that's why I both love and hate this game a little bit. Because stuff like that happens. Where it's like, let me just put the proper thing up. Because you'll be heading into a place and you'll miss the itty bitty little thing. And miss out on opportunity. And I do believe now, are we in? No, we have not spawned in on the map yet. Or maybe this is where you get the grappling hook, considering that these guys have hooks on their tongues, or at least one type does. I could see it. 
And considering that there are so many grappling hook things up here, of, or at least I assume are grappling hook things, I can only presume. And of course, people are firing off fireworks. Ah, here we are in Frog's Domain. Ah, we spawn up there. It has an icon. Hmm. Alright, interesting. Now we get to wander about in painful fear. Oh boy, it's a sh nice little viv spawn location. Huzzah. And frogs are having a poison sauna. Huh. Uh, more cultists. More cultists. And there's a big boy. That's going to be a mob rush. Let me guess. This is another... Oh, you what? You just want to bomb them? You can just bomb them. <laughs> the green poison you look uh, worries me. But does not actually seem to decrease my health. No, go back here. Ah, and then now we can go this way. Since it, say, it seems to say there's a thing up here, it could just be pointing at a grapple hook spot because, hey, there's this grapple hook spot that has a secret. And uh, flowers that increase health. Not bad. Take a look. Yep, it's like, hey, if you have grapple, shoot. Shoot there. But sadly, I do not grapple shoot. It's saying that there's a secret here. Ah, I'm too far up. See, this is why I'm bad with secrets. I have a map pointing me towards the secret, and I still missed the secret. That is my superpower. Why can't I just cut off their tongues and take their own? dibbity dees Hmm. I'm going to assume that because there's a big roundabout way to kind of... Hmm, but maybe. I'm going to quickly head back. Make sure that I exhaust all, like, directional opportunity. Knew it. People just firing off fireworks like jerks. Ah! Shortcut area. Got you, got you. Get out of here. You're not meant to be here yet. Oh, bleh, 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 bleh. And that's another shortcut area because those jut out. Okie dokie. Lots of shortcuts that lead back to the diddly D. And considering how many hookshot places there are, ooh, I'm, I am expecting glory. I'm expecting wonderful things. Let's see. Hmm. I do like that the virtual manual is done up like in a way that somebody who owned a video game manual that has like maps of areas would do things like here's a trap, here's a trap, here's where a secret is. It's like it, it adds nice flavor to the game. I I I really really enjoy it. And my brain kept being like, oh, respect, respect. It's like, it's not respect, it's another word. It's another word. It's like, I really am happy that they did it either way. Wow, 
Why does everyone want to kill the fox boy? Do they hate the fox gods? Did the fox gods poison the world? And everyone else is like, man, fuck these foxes. Hmm, there is a ladder. It appears that there is a... Ziggity Zaggy. Ziggy Zaggy, why? Why zigzag? You patrol too late. Die. Although there is one thing about the virtual manual that is kind of head scratching is that there are some segments that are just runes, runes, runes. Oh, I thought... Uh, goodbye. It's like there are some sections that are just runes. Runes upon runes upon runes. And then there are other segments that have tons of actual, like, English lettering. So it's just like, man, whoever made this manual sucks. Ah, hell. Oh, hell, that's bad. I know. Freeze! <laughs> Oh, that damn, that's good. That, no, no, that's de most definitely not good. Silly brain. Brain saying that's good. Brain's all like, no, no confrontation. Say nice thing towards game. <laughs> and once again, there's just the game saying, five million ways to get to the same place. Alright, that seems to be everything for this room. Goody goody. I swear, the manual says thing. Don't make noises. The noises scare me. Made me think that that thing was going to come alive while I was messing with the manual. Another attack upgrade. How much? Wrong button. I have lots of dibbity D. And this is the uh, a go around segment. So, first and foremost, I'm going to go and get some upgrades, especially my attack. Because I love me some attack upgrade. Wait. Oh. Pfft. How dare you make me think that I could? Ooh. And there's a door there, too. I should have seen. The, the, there was literally a rug. Literally a rug pointing that direction. Saying, hey, doorway this way. And Brain was just like, I'm going to ignore that. Because that's just the Brain way of doing things. Upgrade damage even more. Huzzah! I'm gonna be able to kill so many things with this. Let's see, I can uh, upgrade my stamina. I'm gonna upgrade my HP because I don't really find myself running out of stamina that much. Then again, I haven't been blocking too much. And running out of stamina, I think, is uh, very bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot you guys respawn. Wait. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just trying to... Ah, it's right over here. Trying to remember the secret place. It's like, I know there's a secret way here. I didn't realize that the door was open. Already stolen. Lol. <laughs> I mean, I already kind of understood that that wouldn't be the end, considering up, up in here. 
Chain reaction time. Kill everything through explosions. <laughs> How beautiful. More dynamite. Dynamite. To cause absolute destruction with. All right, and this will lead to further things. Ah, shortcut. Felt like we just went through a shortcut, and that's not the worst room to get through, but eh. Hmm. If I wanted to, I could throw tons of dynamite at them before we even start the fight. So I shall. <laughs> Dynamite. Oh. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Did it? <laughs> I think the game move cued me. That guy literally sucked me into his friend's demise. And what be you? Thing. Well, apparently it's it's probably the grapple hook. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Grapple times. <laughs> Exploration. I, that's probably a bad choice. Oh, no, it was the right choice. <laughs> I'm just excited to have a grapple hook. So I saw a grapple hook point, and I'm like, I'm going to grapple to that. <laughs> oh, me love it so much. I am immensely happy. Oh, no, it did. Huh. It has, like, a magic meter, but I guess if you use it for grapple hooking, it doesn't count as magic. That's good design. That is marvelous design. Now it's boss fight time. Oh, no. Wow, I can just... No. Already stolen, so I guess it's elsewhere. And the reward isn't... I'm going to assume that the reward isn't actually for the diddly D. The reward isn't your progression. Yeah, you lose the magic when pulling an enemy to you. All right, but you know what? I'm going to head back down. Why? Because the game is explicitly pointing out a... Um, I can't leave that is explicitly pointing out a grapple hook point. I'm going to head towards that grapple hook point because secrets. Ryan secrets. Is it secret? Is it safe? <laughs> it's not going to be in a moment. All right, let's see. No, we don't want to grab them towards us. Oh, fine. I'll go back over there. Oh, it's too far away. Sadness. But yeah, th this is the kind of item... It's like, this design is really good, but at the same time... It's kind of bad design for one reason. It's gonna make you go, oh god, if I ever play this again, I'm gonna have to do it without the grapple hook at the start. <laughs> Unless there's a new game plus, but then that kind of uh, breaks the uh, some design. Oh, hey, another! I get another one! I get another one! Yay! And that's why I came back. <laughs> oh, the the way this game is just made is so good. 
now it's really starting to take off. This game. I love it. Even if I had minor gripes related to the first major boss fight, the I can even show you it because I have the, the the right page. That thing, when I fought it in the Eastern Forest Fortress, I found it quite bothersome because, uh, like, ah, its leg has arches, but I, I can't go through its legs. And it just felt like uh, kind of an annoyance through a lot of the fight. Instantly gone because I have the best part of the game right here. It is magical, it is wonderful, and I love it. And that means that now that I have it, I can go through the teleporter. <laughs> I can go through the teleporter. And I can make use of so many of the tuning forks. I'm in love. Don the... Oh, I can kill you in one hit now. Yay. <laughs> Leave me alone! I uh, just love it. Teleport me! I better not die, because I'm still tagged at that one place. Woo! This is basically the... So, you've already... You've got... You recently got the grapple hook, have you? Uh huh. The books of physics. I was gonna say this is kind of nightmarish, but no, now it's kind of cozy. The great library. Am I going to meet a magical wiz? You're gonna come to life because you have glowing eyes. I prefer if you didn't. It's another lo hero's grave location. I'm just thinking, like, something will have to happen to, like, be to be able to grab these items. I think I understand. Maybe. I'm not asking for, uh, like, uh, revelations, but I'm going to assume that once you level up your, like, health or defense or damage to the maximum within the game, you have to come to these specific shrines to the dead hero... To get the super duper final upgrade. That is my prediction. I will probably be wrong. But hey, it's just interesting. I like it. Very interesting. I, mean, I do. I very much respect the. Are these doors or just light? Nope, they're just little alcoves. I'm paranoid of secrets. I did my best. If I give. Oh no! Cathedral! Oh boy. Okay, is this going to be like some kind of meta game at the same time? Because, oh yeah, I forgot, I didn't look at the other side. Oh, this actually tells you where they go. Quarry, West Garden, Ruined Atoll. The Moon Glow Greatsword, apparently. And there's a, oh, and that's the start back there, I should have known. And of course, oh yeah, this one's also just set in runes. Very interesting. But yeah, is this going to be like a meta game where the inhabitants of the world know and they're like looking at like these dibbity daws? Oh no, there's corruption. Fleemer's friend, Lost Echo. Oh boy. 
This zone is extremely dangerous and is best left alone, even if you're feeling bla brave. Only ghosts are permitted to enter the inner grounds. Apparently four skeletons. And apparently you get there from somewhere. Let's see. Legend says wearing this allows you to do something extraordinary. There's so many things that are just super interesting. Hello, merchant. I see you there. So, cathedral. So, either this is like the mountain building, because like over here it exists. Orange pearl ring, cyan pearl ring, inverted ash, anklet, perfume, tincture. Tincture increases damage while lowering defense. That's what I assume that to mean. Bracer. Uh, decreases something while raising defense. Lucky cup, muffling bell, louder echo times four. Scavenger's mask probably lets you blend in with the scavengers. Dagger strap, magic echo. Even the original person doesn't know. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Fire and or heart on fire, no heart. So I'm guessing that's like a one-hit run thing. Aura's gym. Apparently raises something. Something, something, 60 seconds, shush. Don't you tell me to shush. But yeah, I could see this game going kind of meta. Considering that these pieces of the manual were in diddly dang like experiment boxes this is a teleporter <gasps> I can pray to you magical diddly d space odyssey 2001 obelisk I activate thee So now I have a teleporter in here. And a respawn point. Very interesting. I don't have the money. But I can still just save here. This is just so cool. This is just so cool. The vibe, the way things are kind of unfolding is just like, this is really cool. Am I going to meet someone up here or considering root? Please don't want to fight. You have a... S you, huh? Best of luck. I knew it. Oh. The librarian. And he has curses. Dang it. Oh. They even give magic. They encourage it. I took damage from something. Oh, dang it, that's area of effect. That's kind of rude. Hitting you with my actual sword is very difficult.
Dang it. Get out of there. Dang it. I got him to uh, past half health, so... I just need for a fine. But definitely interesting. Wrong button. Oh yeah, I forgot I have an extra one. Mm, diddly dee. Going to say uh, speed and t -t 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 -t. Hmm. I'll take that along with me to see if I can freeze him when he does his big slam down and uh, if I can mess him up with that. Do you know what the fox heads do? They are effigies. They are basically piggy banks. <laughs> that damages you! Jerk. Come fight me. Should probably also maybe block. Yes! I can cheese you! I can cheese you, man! I know exactly what to deal with you now! I know your deal, and it is to be ugly and to die. And you give me more magic the further the game goes on. Go ahead, summon more babies for me to kill. Die, Librarian. I don't even use library cards. I think I abused magic too much. Oh, never mind. Heal. Dang it. Almost. Two tried. Ha <laughs> ha. Take that, librarian. I am the owner of the library now. Wait, is this actually the thing? High above the clouds. Neat. And he's just a dead body. That's kind of disturbing because everything else is exp well now the, the the mechanical things, but the biological things typically uh, disappear. Ominous. So yeah, so far I am two for two on bosses killing me once, and then me coming back in to wreck them. <laughs> All right, but that's very interesting because what is the, the thing there? Because I have the green now, and that's the actual medallion, but what's the, like, the red, like, bolt thing for now, I ponder? Hmm. I keep doing that. I'm a fool. Let's see. Oh, diddly D. Tell me the magic's three. Huh. Monastery, cavity, rooted zig... Rooted ziggurat. So that's where you are. <laughs> Gun! Gun is an item I can get. I joked about that earlier, I think. Let's see. Yep, the library. The beginning. Eastern vault. 
Ruined a toll. Quarry. So can, <laughs> go back to the eastern vault, you say. I trust your judgment because I got the thing and I'm probably <laughs> messed up somewhere. Where do I shove the, the screw? There. Thank you. I just needed to go back here. It should have been obvious. But again, they don't exactly have English with the runes. <laughs> so I just completely overlooked that. Thank you. <laughs> I am a silly man. Yoink, and now I have two. Huzzah. So now I'm going to guess the last one is all the way in the rooted ziggurat area, which means I'm going to have to suffer. Oh, wait, this isn't a place I meant to go. This is a weird place of doom. <laughs> Nothing good comes here. This is the heart of Etheria, where people are going to come and die. All right, now I just need to do do do. Just head back to the middle of town so we can turn in the two diddly dees. Uh. I am not in the right place. But okie doke, Moon Glow Greatsword. It's like literally. <laughs> Hey, FromSoft, do you care if we just, like, take one of your signature weapons, plug it into our game? Hello, friend, it's me. How dare you hit me? I am the one who, I am the one who hits. One thing that still kind of interests me is the de 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 is that the music knows like hey music at the window is just like what does that mean? I already tried praying and nothing happened. Do I have any gold coins? I do not have any gold coins. I used them all up. I'm going to go plug in my various things. And then I'm, g I guess I am do. <gasps> oh, I know exactly what we're going to do first. First, we're going to plug these in. Then we're going to head back to the diddly D, the, the ruined forbidden plans area. Because now that I have the grappling hook, I can do a thing. I can make some progress in that direction. I can make lots of progress, really. Oh, and then they just fell away. That's a bit disturbing. Don't have the blue one. Go ahead, have green. Very interesting. Just major credit to the team that made this game. Because it has a nice feeling to it. The flow of combat, the just like the design of everything, I love it. And I just I can't wait to see what the like end is going to be, if there's gonna be some level of explanation. I keep pressing that as if it's going to be inventory. But there's something that I want to check. Something that I want to see me climb the ladder. Die. 
because one thing that interests me is this guy. What are you? Why are you? How do I activate you? Be Maybe after I activ activate the, like, uh, the three magical deedly D. I can then maybe come up here and do things with you, perhaps. And you'll unlock extra dungeons that lead to the good ending. <laughs> perhaps. And I can just do this! Thank you. It's kind of like a giant golden domino. <laughs> Yep, on our way, we're gonna do our things. Because again, this area is very interesting. But first, pray to the monolith. <laughs> this area is the this area is literally the area that made me go, this game is special. Modern infrastructure. A radio tower, a kind of construction beam tower thingy. And this, like, magical Magitek stone giving way to normal metal. Things get weird from here. <laughs> Most definitely... <laughs> The moment that I, like, got that manual page that's, like, went on, went on about the scavengers. And the fact that there are literally guns in here. Wait, things are happening in the background. Oh, no. Hopefully I didn't do a bad. And now we're here. I'm gonna see if- make sure this is activated quickly. It is. Good, good. That way, fast travel is activated. And I think that this is where I'll end it things for now because we've been going for longer than i expected three and a half hours now and we made lots of progress thank you very much chat here and things things are getting interesting but yes ah thank you very much for watching i've been neon icy wings i try to stream uh, Basically, I have no idea what days to stream anymore, but I try to, like, update my schedule on what days I plan to. Uh, but, uh... I also have a YouTube channel of various archived playthroughs called Neon Icy Games on YouTube, where you can watch me play, like, Undertale, Kirby Forgotten Lands, and the Mass Effect Trilogy. And, uh... Yeah. I'm just trying to find the best balance of how do I end off, like, uh, the stream VOD in a satisfying way for YouTube while also being good streamer. Uh. And apparently the next boss is tough. Oh, joy. But yes. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I'm going to try and actually raid this time, but uh, for the bibbity bop I'm going to have an end screen for my YouTube. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you dudes next time. Let's see if I can maneuver life. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much. See you next time.